Good day Grade 11s. Welcome to your next lesson in Statistics. In this lesson we're going to be teaching you about a frequency polygon. Now the frequency polygon looks exactly like a histogram and it is sometimes used to represent the same information as a histogram. And what it is, is that there is a line drawn from each of the segments. So there's a line drawn from here to here and here to here and here to here and here to here. So basically it gives you an idea of a scale of the change, okay? There's a line drawn to connect the middle of the top of each bar. So the frequency polygon connects the coordinates of the center of each interval and the count of each interval. So it's the center of the interval to the count of each interval of them. That's what it does. So this here is the histogram from our last lesson, which was the age groups of people going to the gym. And this would be the frequency polygon. So you would draw it down to the halfway between the 0 to 9 line. And you would join it up to the halfway line between 10 and 19. Now what you need to remember is that we've got 19, the halfway between 19 and 10. If you did that, you got 19 minus 10 is 9. Divided by 2 is 4.5 and, and we add it to 10, so we get 14 and a half. The other way is just to add them. 10 plus 19 is 29. Divided by 2 is 14 and a half. Halfway between 20 and 29 is 24.5, etc, etc. So frequency polygon, you do exactly the same way as you would a histogram, except then you join the midpoints of your top counter of each class. And that's it, grade 11s. That's your frequency polygons. Have a great day.